Lucky Craft does a special color run in some hard to find baits. St. Croix rods at literally the greatest rod deal ever. And Mega Bass does a limited color drop in the 110 and the plus one. This is what's new this week at the Hook of Tackle. Welcome to the Hook of Tackle. The Hook of Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the Hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just wanna elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. Welcome back my friends. I am Ben with the Hookup Tackle, the Tackle Otaku on Instagram, being joined this fine Sunday morning by my buddy, Jeffrey the King. Jeff? What's going on, pal? Happy Sunday, sir. Look at you, man. Always glowing. Well, that's because it's this time. <laughs> the time We're a week in and you haven't disappointed me yet. Isn't that so crazy? So congratulations. Wow. You're holding up to your end of the deal. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad mm. I chose that for you. Cheers, my friends. Happy Sunday morning. We are the Hookup Tackle USA, by the way. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. We're going to highlight some new product drops, some important restocks. We're going to talk some shit to Jeff. We're going to drink the most delicious beer in the world, Orion, from the beautiful island of Okinawa. Still no sponsorship. Almost two years running here. 2023 is my lucky year. Oh. It's the year of the rabbit. The year of the rabbit? Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't know what that has to do with anything. I was going to say. <laughs> but wasn't last year the year of the rat? I thought maybe. Or something. The mouse or mouse? something. Yeah. That didn't seem so lucky. Rabbits seem Rabbit. much luckier. Rabbits are a bit cooler. Mm-hmm. We'll see what happens. We'll see if we can lock that sponsorship up. That'd be great. Did you have a good week? Uh, fantastic. Lots of rain and terrible fishing? Yes. Okay, My perfect. Favorite. Well, let's not hear any more about that, and let's jump into some bait, shall we? We're going to start with Mega Bass. Now, we have three limited colors. Mega Bass did a special run on three of their most popular colors in both the 110 and the 110 Plus One. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for these colors, as have we. Some of these colors for several years they haven't done. This was supposed to be a much larger drop. Something happened, I don't know exactly what happened, but the entire production got shrunk down into a very small allotment, so there's not nearly enough to go around. Okay, just gonna preface that. So, I don't usually like to limit number of items that you guys can get, but to make sure that I give everyone a chance to get these, we're gonna limit this to one bait per color, okay? So per person, one bait per color. But let's start with the colors and you guys are gonna wanna scoop these up. So here you go. Three color drops happening right now. So this is, what did I start with? GLX Spring Reaction. Let me just take them out. This is one of the coolest colors. So this color hasn't been done for several years. We get asked about it all the time. They are gonna do this in the 110, or they have done it in the 110 and the 110 plus one. Okay, so just a beautiful color, a great one to have. I mean, year round it works, but obviously in the spring when they really key on that faint chartreuse, that's a great one to have. So there is color number one. Second color, let's take it out. <clears throat> now this is a favorite for a lot of you guys. This is GLXS Spawn Cherry. Now this one is also gonna be available in a 110 and a plus one. Okay, so there is that one. And then this used to be a staple in the line and it's been several years since it's been available in quantities like this. But Spawn Killer is also available in a 110 and a plus one. So there you go. I expect these to evaporate extremely quickly. But again, if you guys can limit it to one color 
per bait, per person. That will at least help us spread out whatever we can to you guys. Good luck, I hope you guys get them. I expect this to probably just be a one-time drop for now. Hopefully they'll do another run later in the year. But while supplies last, those colors are available now from Mega Bass. All right, and while we are on 110s, we see a huge restock across the board on a lot of hard to find core colors. So if you guys have been waiting on any of the key core colors, at this moment in time, the entire line is in stock. So you guys have been waiting on something like GG Trout OB or Secret Grape or SB OB Shad. Take a look, this is a great week to scoop up 110s. If you guys are in the middle of that season like we are, or you're prepping, this would be a great time to stock up on your jerkbait selection. We also see a full restock in the Plus One Juniors, including GLXS Spawn Cherry. So if you missed out on the 110, or maybe you're just gonna grab the entire allotment, the 110, the Plus One, and the Plus One Junior, this is a great time to get it. All colors return in that as well. And then one of my favorite jerk baits for this time of the year in the Mega Bass line also returns in all of the colors. This is the Vision 110 FX. So some great colors in there. Pro Green returns, Pumpkin Seed returns, all the key colors are back in the FX. If you guys aren't using the FX, this is a true suspending 110. So it's got a flexible bill, so you get a little longer cast, and it will suspend more horizontal, so it maintains its depth a little bit more than the original 110. So all of those return from Mega Bass. All right, Jeff, let's jump over to Lucky Craft. Okay, so Lucky Craft did a special run of three baits that they haven't made in going on close to a decade, okay? They've been getting a lot of requests for a couple of these to make it specifically in chrome, okay? So chrome is one of those colors that is super key, I would say in probably half of the country. I would say half the country, like chrome is a staple the way like white would be for us or morning dawn, right? And then the other half of the country, you don't really understand chrome that much, right? But one of the baits, uh, especially for guys in the south and on the east coast that fish any of the herring lakes or any lakes where you guys have more pelagic bait, this is a bait that you guys have been looking for. This is the Lucky Craft Wander 95, and they did it in chrome. Now, if you're not familiar with the Wander 95, I'm gonna break it down for you. It's 95 millimeters, it's three quarters of an ounce. Do you remember the Wander? No. Okay, so this was a bait that came out God, I, I gotta say like 20 years ago, Jesus. right? When the Senko was really getting popular, right? Lucky Craft developed a line of hard baits to mimic a Senko. And it was kind of the first hard bait that did it. And the Wander, when it falls, it falls kind of like a Senko. It falls horizontal, it shimmies, and it shakes down the similar way that a Senko would. The reason that the Herring guys love this is because you can cast it a mile. I mean, that little bait is three quarters of an ounce, Holy crap. right? There's no lip, there's nothing to it that causes it to wander in the air. When you throw it, it goes forever. You can burn it back in, and when you burn it, it kind of skips and has a very erratic action. And when you pause it, so if you get a fish that blows up on it and misses it, and you pause it, it shimmies down right in their face and they eat it. So we used to fish it a lot like in the winter time at like Apache or Roosevelt. We'd fish it on steep walls. So we could just parallel a wall and flip it on the wall and just let this thing just kind of shimmy down the wall and we could pick off suspended fish. So super dope that they brought this back. I hope and I will do my best to bring this back in more colors, right? Because I know there's a lot of you guys who are like, oh, I want that, but Chrome doesn't speak to me. But if you guys live in a place where Chrome is the deal, you're gonna be super excited for this. I don't know if this is a one-time run or not. This was an unexpected drop from them. So I'm excited to get them. That is the Wander 95 from Lucky Craft in Chrome. While we are on Chrome, <clears throat> Lucky Craft also made two small lipless that are their favorite pond lipless. Okay, so these will be great for you guys that are shore fishing, that are fishing smaller ponds. Of course, you guys are fishing bigger lakes, bigger water, and you want to downsize, these can be great options for you as well. Okay, so we have the LV Junior 70 and the LVR Mini S. Okay, now I know there's a lot of different LVs, so let me just take them out and show you. So the LV Junior 70, basically is like an LV100 shape, but super small, okay? So you can see 
sticky, sticky hooks, okay? So you can see that it's two and an eighth inches, it's seven grams, okay? So it's a quarter ounce. It's got a great tight action. It's basically just gonna be a super small little bait fish type, you know, action to it. That tail or that fin on the back keeps it upright. So just a great one to just cast and wind. The LVR Mini, open that one, show this one to you. This is a great one if you need to fish it around grass, if you need to do any kind of lift and drops, right? This rips out of cover very well. It's a great one for just lifting and dropping. Uh, and again, you can see it's super tiny. Let me spec that one out for you as well. So the LVR Mini is 57 millimeters, 7.5 grams, so just over a quarter ounce. So two great tiny little lipless options uh, from Lucky Craft. And again, I expect this to just be kind of a one time, like here, we did something cool. May never see it again, who knows, right? But as of right now, both of those are available from Lucky Craft. All right, a couple of JDM bevy shads to talk about. So we've been talking about shad style baits over the last, I don't know, probably two months, right? The winter is really the key time of the year for throwing small shad baits, smaller jerk baits, when they get really picky and really finicky on size. Lucky Craft makes a bevy shad, probably you know one of the best shad baits well in japan they do limited runs of the bevy shad in a bone material okay so you guys know from some of the square bills that we do with lucky craft the bone material just gives the bait a little different sound it gives it a little bit different buoyancy and it gives it a little bit different color okay so uh we're gonna do two different kinds let me make sure oh here let's just let's just do this i got these colors so we have the Bevy Shad 58 STJ and the Bevy Shad 58 NT. Okay, and these are both in the bone. I'm gonna show you the difference. Let me just take them out. It's basically just the lip shape and size. So both of these are gonna be deeper diving versions. Both of these are gonna spec out about the same. They're both five grams. Okay, so here's the STJ and Here's the other. So you can see that this one has a longer lip to it, right? So if you want a little longer lip, a little deeper dive, you can go with this one. If you want more of a traditional dive, I'm gonna say if you're throwing this thing on light line, this one usually gets down around six to eight feet, and this one is possible to get down eight to 10 foot. You're gonna get a couple extra feet with this guy. Of course, if you use a whip sink or something, you can get it down deeper. So some great colors in both of those. You just saw Pearl IU and a flake flake gill. There's some golds, there's some shad. So give it a look. If you guys want something just unique uh, that doesn't come around very often, those are available now from Lucky Craft. And then while we're on Lucky Craft, we see a huge restock in some of the specialty colors in the Pointer 100. Pointer 100 is another one of my favorite jerk baits in the winter time. Just a great all around bait. So some of the key colors that are awesome, that don't come around very often, are back. So colors like JP Brook Trout returns. Ghost Pearl Ayu, we see come back. Keta Bass, which is one of my favorite kind of baby bass type patterns, that returns. Aurora Dace Shad is a super under the radar color, but a great one for fishing stained water around weeds, aquatic vegetation. Pineapple Shad makes me feel like I'm on vacation. I should probably just have a drink. This is really gonna make me feel like I'm on vacation. Mm. You know, cause Chad look like pineapple sometimes. Yes, right? sometimes. Yeah. Uh, Silver Cheek Ghost Minnow returns. And then JP Bitterling, another just great all around Chad or kind of baby trout color. So if you guys have been looking to stock up on some Point .100s, those are all available now this week from Lucky Craft. All right, let's stay in the jerkbait lane for a minute, Jeff. So Nishine. We dropped last week the brand new uh, Erie 115MD, right? The deep diving Erie gets down 15 to 20 feet depending on how you rig it, right? Two colors weren't in last week that arrived this week. This will be important for a lot of you guys up north. So we see the two new color additions. So we see EU Chartreuse Perch and Yellow Perch. So if you guys were waiting on the perch colors to drop, now you have it again. Uh, if you missed last week's episode, the Erie 115 MD, let me just take it out. I think, I personally think the Nishini perch is the best perch color. I just, I love that kind of transparency to it. 
It makes me wish we had perch. We do. Upper Lake Mary. Okay. Yeah. You need to <laughs> All right, so here you go. Here's just another quick look at the Erie 115 MD. We still have some inventory you can see over there on some of the other colors as well. So if you missed out last week, we still have like the Pearl Flash and the Ghost Shad and some of that as well. But uh, this, as it comes out of the package, is gonna get down into 15 feet on like 14 to 16 pound lines. They recommend throwing on a little bit heavier lines. So you can give it harder jerks, harder whips. If you add a second weight to the front, you can easily turn this into a slow sink and get it down past 20 feet and really get to some deeper fish. So there you go, wall supplies last, those are in. And then when I was talking to the guys over at Nishini, they were telling me that they were making two special colors in Japan. Uh, they were limited drop colors over there and I asked them to send me a batch next time they made them and they did. Now these are in the Erie 95 SD. So this is their smaller sized jerkbait. Uh, just to spec it out in case you guys aren't familiar with the 95, this guy is 95 millimeters, 11 grams. So you're basically at a 3 8 ounce jerkbait. So two JDM only colors. I don't know if these are gonna stay staples. These were kind of special runs that they did. This first one they're calling sky blue. Okay, so I love baits with a little bit of blue in the back. This time of the year, GP Pro Blue, Aurora Black, and Lucky Craft. This would be a great addition. So just a nice natural shad pattern. And I'm really excited about this one, Black Otama. So there's something magical about a black jerk bait in clear water. They just, there's something, they don't see many of them. A lot of you guys know that that's a killer. So this could be a really cool one. It's kind of a matte finish black. Those are available while supplies last. And then they also sent me a batch of Black Otama in the Simcoe 75. So if you guys are loving the Simcoe, uh, this would be a great chance to scoop this up as well. This is designed as a lipless blade bait hybrid. So you can fish it as a blade bait on the bottom. Uh, we've been throwing it around here a lot, just as a lipless bait, ripping it out of grass, straight retrieve, that kind of stuff. So wall supplies last, some limited colors from the shape. All right, Jeff, do you remember the crazy crankbait from Rooms Plus called the Alcatraz. It sounds familiar. You remember the one that looked just like a science, but it looked like a brain with a lip, almost. Oh, that one, yes. Remember that thing? Yeah, so yeah. they haven't made those now. That was a long honestly, time ago, Honestly, probably about like 10 months. It's yeah. been almost a year since we've seen those, yeah. right? And guys bought them, they caught fish on them, they've been begging for them to come back. Well, I don't have them back. Oh, then why did you bring this whole thing up? Well, because I have the new version. A new brain? The Magnum Alcatraz Good Lord. from Rooms Plus That's huge. is available now. So these guys, this is an 81 millimeter, 41 gram. <laughs> okay, so you're at a true ounce and a half crankbait. Four meter dive depth, okay? This is Holy a crap. crazy crankbait, okay? So I'm just gonna show this to you. This is a wild bait. It has a movement and a push and a feel unlike any other crankbait, as you can imagine. There's not another crankbait on the planet that looks like this thing. So, you know, the design and the shape is designed so that as it's cranking, the water is gonna get in these grooves and it's gonna draft behind it. So where a lot of crankbaits rely on, you know, sound or rattles or different things to draw attention to it, similar to like how a mag draft creates that draft behind it and fish feel it on the lateral line, same concept here. Uh, with the Magnum Alcatraz. So there you go. I think a lot of you guys are gonna be super stoked about this. Now, as with all things Rooms Plus, these aren't inexpensive, right? So Rooms Plus they, it's a small, niche kind of handmade company, but they have actions unlike anything else. So if you guys wanna give it a stab, it's got kind of that coffin lip. So in theory, the cover deflection should be great. We literally just got these in, so haven't had a chance to use them yet. I wanted to get them to you guys first. If you want to sink it down deeper than four meters, it does have the ability to add a clip weight. So if you want to put this thing down into 25, 30 feet and then start cranking it, knock yourself out. The idea with the coffin lip is that it is going to deflect at the same point that that hook is when it shifts. So it should be very cover deflective, but again, it's got trouble hooks. So 
you're gonna find something to snag at some point, so you better be prepared to have some kind of knocker or something down there if you weighted down. But I'm excited to see what you guys do with it. There are five colors in this thing. I'm just gonna fly through them very quickly. That one looks super dope. I don't know why, but I love their kind of clown parrot color. Kind of an abalone sexy shad looking guy. You know, more of a traditional white bone. So check those out from Rooms Plus. If you guys are a crankbait fisherman or you loved the original, the Magnum Alcatraz might be right up your alley. Those are available now. All right, Jeff, let's jump over to depths. Okay. Now, slide swimmers. We talk about slide swimmers a lot. Arguably the glide bait of all time. We did the bone air color in it. Yep. <clears throat> when we were creating bone air, we used in my opinion, probably the most famous color in slide swimmer history to kind of give me my footprint of how I wanted to shift the colors around. Mm. When you think of like the number one color, other than bone air, of course, of course. in a slide swimmer, what color are you, comes to mind for you? Um, either the original butch brown flash trout or the flash cart is one of those two. So we... We're doing some spring cleaning, getting ready for some huge drops coming this spring, and we found an entire depth shipment that we never even inventoried. Oh. Okay? Included in that, <laughs> Slide Swimmer 250s and Flash Cart. Would you look at okay, that? Okay, so literally for a year, you guys have been asking me to get these back, and I had them the whole time. The whole time. So, here you go. If you are waiting <laughs> on arguably, probably the most popular color, I would say, other than Bonaire, this is probably the color to have in slide swimmer. Now, let me ask you a question, Jeff. Okay. You don't hear carp patterns spoken about very often. Not really. So what is it about this carp pattern? What is it about flash carp that speaks to you and obviously speaks to the rest of the world? Why is this such a popular color? I think the, the base tone of it, it can be really anything. Yeah, it, the name is flash carp and it's got kind of a brownish hue to it but it's such a natural color overall that i think the fish just absolutely love and if you are fishing around like bodies of water where you're seeing tons and tons of carp the thing matches them so well so i mean anytime that i fish a lake up here uh and i see tons of carp activity and i'm like all right it's time to throw out like a flash carp style and they absolutely crush it so it's just a very natural color yeah, yeah and maybe. you and i have spoken about colors mm -hmm. quite a bit yeah. right and you and i go back and forth on what's important what's not important back when i was throwing swim baits a lot even during the trout seasons when you were getting trout stockings and everybody's out throwing trout type colors i would catch way more throwing carp and tilapia colors like yeah. something just slightly different that wasn't trying to exactly match so i think you could pretty much throw this anywhere at a shiner it, lake yeah, at a shad matter. lake at a you know what i mean it like matter, it's just a very natural looking color so if you guys have been waiting for this or you're looking to expand your slide summer 250 allotment wall supplies last flash carp is available now we also had a big supply of ms grubs okay now this was the new grub that we brought out a couple of months ago they sold out right away. A lot of you guys just absolutely have been crushing them on it. So all colors are back in stock on this guy. If you guys don't remember the MS Scrub, this is basically a single tail grub, right? But done in a depth way. So you've got basically a triangular shape on the body. You've got a little groove there that your hook point can go in and you've got this great grub. So it's designed to, you know, fish on its own. You can use it as a jig trailer in Japan. They're using it as a trailer a lot, chatterbait, swim jig, spinnerbait. But because of that triangular shape, it also maintains the posture and it has a flashing as it falls. So if you rig it on a free rig or weightless, something like that, it will have that nice natural shimmy to it. Could be great. So tons of colors from white to green pumpkins to browns. Those are also available from depths. And while we're on soft plastics, <clears throat> one of my favorite big worms, right? When you think big, like 10 inch worm, right? What usually comes to mind for a lot of people is like a Berkeley power worm, right? That's the old school standard that everybody uses. This is one that if that's you guys, this might be one worth looking into. This is the depths 
Death Hatter, Jumbo Curly, and again, all colors are back. So from June Bugs to Green Pumpkins, Sprayed Grass, Bluegill, the entire allotment is back in these guys. If you're wondering, it says seven inch on it, okay? So I'm gonna open this for you and I'm gonna show this to you guys. The body of the worm is seven inches, okay? Seven inches right there. And then you have another four inches back here of tail. So you have essentially almost an 11 inch worm. Now what makes this different, it's gonna be taller and flatter. So it's gonna have a different shimmy as it falls. Of course, you've got a super thin tail. So even with just the slightest little rod movement, the tail is moving and quivering. It's got that kind of shrimpy scent to it. So you've got a great alternative to a big worm that maybe you guys are using now that's just gonna give a little bit different look. So if you guys are big worm fishermen, the Jumbo Curly Death Hatter, those are available from Depths. And then to round Depths off, let's go back to some hard baits. I didn't think we had any of these. We had a bunch. So if you guys uh, have been waiting on any specific colors of Depths Evoke Zeros, now is the time to grab them. So anywhere from bone to you know pink back to bright chartreuse to any of those colors, those are available in the Evoke 0120 as well as the Evoke 0150. Okay, so everything's in stock from scum perch to bone to glass cat. So knock yourself out. This is Kenta's creation for kind of a plopper evoke hybrid. Just a great all-around bait. So those are all available now from depths. All right, Jeff, while we are on bigger baits, just talked about depths, let's ship over to Gangcraft for a minute. So we've been getting a really good flow of jointed claws coming in. One of your favorite baits, one of my favorite baits. Again, probably one of the most famous glide baits, I would say, mm -hmm. right? Well, especially in Japan. Yep. Guys are still hesitant. I have no clue why. You've done video, we've all done videos. Yep. I don't know why people are hesitant on it, but one thing that people are certainly hesitant about is buying a floating bait instead of a sinking bait. Yeah, Right. scary. Crazy to me. It takes like three seconds to alter a floating bait, right? But for those of you who don't like altering and you just have to have a slow sinking bait, I got you, okay? So, jointed claw 178s in slow sink, we see uh, some of the new colors trickle in. So the new Oikawa color is in stock. New Amago color is in stock. Waka Ayu and Ja Ayu are in stock. Even pinks are in stock, and then we see a big restock of all the other colors that we've had before. So, if you guys love throwing glides or maybe you're just looking for something to add to the arsenal, this is the one. I love the 230 size as well in the jointed claw, but the 178 is like the magical size. I, I literally think you could take this anywhere. Pond, river, lake, big, I mean, it doesn't matter, ocean, right? I mean, we're watching guys in Okinawa catch, GTs. you know, giant trevallis <laughs> on these things, right? So if you're looking for a bait to add, this is the one, this is the size you usually throw? Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Wall supplies last, the jointed claw and the slow sink 178s, those are available now. Speaking of ocean, okay, Gangcraft is expanding into a lot more saltwater things, right? As are a lot of brands, right? Just trying to expand and round out their lineup. I'm always paying attention to see which saltwater items could potentially have some game here in the US for our saltwater guys, of course, but also which saltwater items are applicable to freshwater stuff as well. And a, a great example of this this year was Duo in their drag metal, right? Mm. Their drag metal spoons are number one selling spoon by far, right? Just a great spoon designed for saltwater, catches the shit out of them in freshwater. When I saw Gancraft release this, I thought the same thing. So here you guys go. If you're a saltwater guy or you're looking for a finessier spoon, Take a look, this is the Gancraft Koso Jig. Now these are gonna be available in two sizes, okay? There is a 10 gram and a 14 gram. Now this is the Koso Jig Micro. They've made a Koso Jig, like a big one, for dropping down you know, into the depths, 140 gram, 180 gram stuff. But this is their new Micro, so you can fish this from the shore or you can fish this in fresh water for largemouth or whites or whatever. Three great colors, okay? You got a, a full white, which you don't usually get in a jig like this, and a couple of shad patterns. They're gonna come 
with the assist hooks on the top. I can tell you Griff's already been dropping them. He's been slamming them. So I think this is gonna be a great one for you guys to add when you need it to downsize. You can see that's a 14 gram little jig in my hand. You can see how small it is. So that's a half ounce, okay? So try it. If you guys are doing this type of fishing, I think you're gonna love it. The Coso Jig from Gancraft, those are available now. And then to round Gancraft out, we see a restock plus some new color drops in their backlighting bait, the Bomb Slide. Okay, so this is one of our best selling backlighting baits. It's super simple, but super effective. Okay, so some of the key colors return and then we see some new colors, some green pumpkin, uh, some blue flakes, some watermelons. Just in case you guys aren't familiar with it, I'll open this up and I will show this to you. Backlighting baits really become super popular here in the US around this time of the year. February, usually when the fish start moving up into the shallows, a back glide can be a great way to kind of flip and pitch without being too intrusive. A lot of times if you pitch something traditionally with a, you know, the sinker on front, it can sometimes be a little too loud, it sinks down too fast. This is a bait that is designed, it's flatter, okay? It's got that same kind of almost pimply groove in the middle that's designed to mimic the feel of like a crawfish falling down. It's got the claws, it's got the tentacles, but that flatter design gives it a longer hang time. So it's going to fall slower and glide farther than a traditional back glide bait. So this is a great one to fish uh, weightless. You're just gonna pitch it out and just let it carry yourself back into the bushes, underneath the dock, whatever target you are hitting. So there you go, the bomb slide from Gangcraft. Those are available now. All right, let's stay in soft plastics for a minute, Jeff, and jump over to our friends at Issei. So Issei, a great brand, the original creators of the Gill Flat, right? They have an amazing soft plastic paddle tail. If you guys follow Griff on Instagram, he's been teasing this all week. He's been putting on the Vato rig, and it's just a great one, and that is the Issei Caramel Shad. Okay, it's a little different design than the traditional paddle tail. It's available in a three and a half and a four inch. All colors return in that this week. Plus we see a new color edition that is going to, it's a color that comes from their saltwater line, but it's gonna be super applicable to you guys during the spring, right? Guys love throwing chartreuse in white colors. I'll take one out here so you guys can see it. So we see a new color drop here from Issei in this. This is gonna be a killer one on a free rig, fishing on a jig head. You can do the Vato rig like Griff is doing. But what's different about this in a traditional is usually when you have a two-tone color like this, you have one color on top and one color on the bottom, right? Issei does it splitting it right down the middle. So this is going to swim and kind of fall like this, and this is how you're gonna see it. So you're gonna see half chartreuse, half white as it's falling and as it's swimming. Uh, just a really cool bait. It's just something that's a little bit different. It's got specific little joints in there to give it a little bit more articulation. I think if you guys try it, you're gonna catch a ton of fish on it. So there you go, some new color drops and full restock on Caramel Shad. Plus we got a lot of requests from you guys as we've been expanding the Issei line to bring in a product called the Super Stick. Okay, so this is a bait that a lot of you finesse guys know about, have been uh, getting from Japan. We were listening, we brought them over. So the Super Stick is available now from Issei as well. And I will take this out and I will show this to you. This is another great one. You can fish it a lot of different ways. You can necker rig it, you can drop shot it, you can free rig it. You can put it on a little ball head. Lots of different things you can do with this guy. Um, but the Super Stick, in essence, it has this very, very finesse little paddle tail there at the end. Okay, so if you fish it on a shaky head, if you fish it on a neckle rig, anything like that, this back end section is going to move and it's got these little articulation spots here that it's gonna move and just quiver very, very naturally. Okay, so it's gonna give you a look that's just different than the other baits. You can also use these markings. If you wanna add a rattle pod in there or a weight in there, you can do a lot of different things with it. You can also wacky rig it and have a similar, just kind of crazy fall to it. So if you're looking for a small little finesse worm, it's four inches, a bunch of cool colors, the Super Stick from Issei, those are also available now. And then we're talking about 
some plastics in JDM Plastics, we see a return in the Owner Japan, <clears throat> the GetNet Cultiva, Birkin Swimmer uh, in Hiyuo. So this was our number one seller. You remember the Birkin Swimmer? Mm -hmm. We are super stoked to get this bait. Uh, it's an amazing rigged soft plastic paddle tail swim bait. Hiyuo was a special color that they ran for us. It evaporated very quickly out of here. This is a bait that can be rigged a bunch of different ways, but it's just going to have a different swim, a beautiful swim. It maintains a horizontal posture. It's just got a little bit different look than something like a mag draft. This is the junior size. So you can see how small it is, but it still has a lot of weight. So you can fish this little guy the same way you would fish a six inch mag. It weighs the same. Here, hold that little junior. So you've got essentially almost a, well, it's about a three quarter ounce but because it's so dense, it throws and maintains its posture really, really well. So if you guys are looking for a great spring paddle tail, the Burke and Swimmer from Owner Japan, those are back in stock. All right, huge restock on one of our favorite topwater baits that just absolutely took off this year. This is from Whiplash Factory. Now Whiplash Factory creates some amazing saltwater baits. They started a bass brand. We brought them in earlier this year and We've been destroying them ever since. You guys have been buying them up, catch them as well. So I'm gonna run through these really quick. So this is the Live Wire uh, series of baits. So these are walking baits designed to have a different sound, a different movement. There are several models of it, okay? So this is the Live Wire, 100 millimeters, 12.6 grams, so about a half an ounce, okay? So it's just got a unique, kind of that one knock, but still maintains that high pitch glass sound. So it's a great walking bait. Those return. We see a return plus some new colors in the Livewire 87 as well. So this is the smaller version. This is the nine gram version. So you're gonna be just under three eighths of an ounce. So a great one when you need to downsize. We see some beautiful new colors from Whiplash in that. And then we also see the drive -in wire. So this is gonna be the biggest version. So 115 millimeters, 21 grams. So you're at like a three quarter of an ounce here. And again, you're gonna get that big, loud kind of one knock that you're used to getting in a kick knocker, a super spook, something like that. Uh, we see some new color additions in that as well. So those all return. And then to round out that arsenal, the spit and wire also returns. So this is more of like a pencil popper. You can use it as just a straight popper. And of course you can walk it as well. 95 millimeters, 15 grams, gonna have that same big loud sound, some, some new colors and a full restock in that as well from Whiplash Factory, those return. All right, Jeff, you know this guy. Yep. The Bay Sandy Explore Glide in our custom color Zonbi Shadow, right? We asked, you know, one of the things that's amazing about an Explore Glide and an Explorer Gill is the ability to alter them, right? So they come with this flat tail that is designed to have the bait glide, but they have the ability to detach this tail and add a paddle tail to them. And then you've got kind of a swimming motion as well as a glide, right? One of the challenges to Zombie Shadow is they, there wasn't really a paddle tail that matched. So we asked Bait Sanity to custom make us a paddle tail that matched the Zombie Shad and they have. So what we are going to do is wall supplies last on these things. We are going to include them with a zombie shad, okay? So now every purchase of the zombie shad Explorer Glide, you are also going to get the paddle tail to go along with it. And if you guys aren't familiar with the system, do you mind holding that for me, sir? This is one of the great things about the Bait Sandy system is that it's super customizable. There's so many different things that you can do with it. And literally by just inserting and clicking this in, now you have a paddle tail version. It still glides, but as it glides, that paddle tail is back there kicking as well. It lengthens it a little bit as well. Now, if you're looking at my bait and you're wondering what all this stuff is, you know, one you know key thing that I have learned with my time with Jeff is the importance of getting a bait to be neutral balanced if that's important. Out of the box, the way an Explorer Glide comes, they're gonna be, I would say more of just a sinking, 
not even really a slow sink. They've got a pretty good sink rate to them. So you can fish them pretty fast, pretty erratic right out of the gate. But if you're trying to get a slow methodical glide where you're just gliding it very slowly and not moving it fast, you need to alter it. Now, some baits allow you to get inside internally. This is a fully sealed bait. So I take advantage, first thing I do is I change the hooks to smaller hooks, but I take advantage of the Zappu floating boards. Okay, so you know how we talk about adding weight strips to the bait for floaters? The floating board essentially is doing the opposite. You're adding float strips to a sinker, right? And then you're basically allowing that bait to become more neutral in the water. So now I can take this bait and glide it. It's going to move and it's just gonna sit there for a minute before it falls. And then I can move it again. It's just gonna sit there. It's gonna have a much more fluid movement without it being real kind of herky and jerky up and down. So if you guys want to experiment, that's usually what I do. Uh, all these boards come in different strips, uh, strips and sizes. You can cut them down to whatever you're liking, but that should hopefully help you. So paddle tail, change it up, alter it. There you go, from Bait Sandy. All right, and then a couple of <clears throat> baits that have really caught fire here locally, still super under the radar, a uh, company called Noiki, right? So we've talked about Noiki before. They make amazing soft plastics in Japan. They use a special material. It's full of scent and flavor. It kind of releases the flavor, uh, but it maintains it maintains its softness, right? So we see a brand new color in their three best-selling base. This is brown cinnamon, okay? So we see it in the donkey boo, we see it in the craw, we see it in their yabby. So if you guys have been throwing these and looking just to expand the color line, it's just a really nice, natural, kind of semi-transparent cinnamon brown. Those are available now. And then we see a return in the new color from Reaction Innovations in Little Dipper and Shiver Glide. This is Lab Rat. So we brought this out a few weeks ago, a new color from them. They evaporated out of here, sold out right away. These are back. So this is kind of Reaction Innovations take on like a pro blue type color, very similar. It's got a muted kind of matte gray back to it, a transparent kind of pearl belly. It's got a little bit of pearl to it. Just some real faint kind of fuchsia flake in there. Just a beautiful natural bait fish color. So if that speaks to you guys, Lab Rat is back from Reaction. All right, Jeff, before we jump over to a couple of rods and the greatest St. Croix rod deal ever, let's talk about a new reel from Daiwa Japan. Now, actually not a new reel. This reel released earlier last year, maybe around late summer. It was on my radar and I was unsure about it until we got them and started playing with it. And then it blew all of our minds. So I'm super excited for you guys to actually get your hands on these. This is the Daiwa Japan Silver Wolf. Okay, so this is the T-Wing 1000XH. Now they only do it in the one gear ratio. It's an eight five to one, it's available in a lefty and a righty. Now, as it comes, it is the PE Special, okay? That's how this reel was designed. I'm gonna talk about it for a minute so I can give you guys the full scoop. This is basically a zillion type body that's been just matte black. I mean, it's like murdered out, right? It's just straight matte black, but it also has mag seal. They designed this reel with the PE spool for lighter braid use, okay? Really designed as a inshore saltwater type reel when you wanna fill it with some lighter braid. And the spool is designed to move faster for line pickups so your braid's not digging, okay? So I thought that was cool and might have some application here in the US. I know a lot of you guys like using uh, bait casting reels for lighter techniques, for drop shot, for free rig, for even you know throwing jerk baits. You're just fans of braid, right? Light top waters, that kind of stuff. But what is awesome about this reel is that it accepts the SV Boost spool. Okay, so what we're doing is if you take the SV Boost spool and you put it inside here, then you have the same SV Boost spool that's in Zillion, that's in Steez, that's in all of those, and you have full line capacity now. So if you don't want to use the PE spool, you can put floral, you can put heavier braid on it, and you have this beautiful, super tuned, there's more bearings than a Zillion, you've got Mag Seal, which the Zillions and the Steez don't have, you've got the super cool look, 
and this thing cast unbelievable. Yesterday, we were out in the parking lot. I was trying to show Jeff, and were you impressed? Uh, it's ridiculous. It casts so well, dude, with that, new, that other spool in there. Yeah, with the SV Boost, right? So it's it's re when you guys cast this thing, everybody's like, holy shit, I can't believe how far I can throw. And, like, we were casting on, like, two for the side dial. Yes. And it's, like, and wasn't even pack lashing. Nope. I was like, this is ridiculous. And we were throwing quarter and three-eighth ounce stuff. Yeah. Right? On, like, a 110 stick, a 6.5 rod, and, and just bombing across the parking lot, and we literally exploded a three-eighth ounce weight because we threw it so far into the dumpsters. Like, I can't even explain to you. It's hundred, It's It's got to be 100 yards Yeah. to it's, that. It's really close. To that. So if you guys want to take a stab at an amazing reel, I promise you if you get this, this is, it's in my arsenal, it's in Griff's arsenal. Everybody bought these yesterday, okay? We are going to include the SV Boost spool for you, okay? So they're $549, but it comes with a $150 spool. We're just gonna drop it in the box so that when you get it, you have the ability, if you wanna take that PE spool off and just put the SV Boost on and just leave it on there, you're good to go. But then you'll have that spare spool for times when maybe you want braid, and then maybe you want another spool with fluoro, you've got the dual spool. So there you go, the new Silver Wolf from Daiwa Japan, by the way, made in Japan. I'll spec it out for you, okay? So it's eight five to one gear ratio. Of course, it has all the hyper boost or all the hyper drive design plus mag seal. It's 185 grams, so it's 10 grams more than a zillion, but it also has mag seal in it. So it's, it's sick. Same drag, 90 centimeters per turn. Uh, 10 ball bearings, and they're all CRBBs, by the way. So it's saltwater safe, freshwater safe. It's sick. So, and clicky drag, right? So knock yourself out. There is a new Silver Wolf from Dial. All right, Jeff, you remember back a few weeks ago, we talked about Mega Bass doing a series of basically respect rods called Craftsman Pride, right? So every month they're going to do a different rod drop, okay? So the first one they did was a Destroyer Hedgehog. Uh, they had a blackout and they had a stinger. We sold out of them right away. Megabass had a few extra of each model and we asked them to send them to us and they have landed. So if you guys missed out or maybe you only got one model and you wanted the other model, this is the last chance to pick those up before the next model drops uh, some point later this month, okay? So if you guys don't remember what these looked like, this is an absolutely beautiful rod. These are throwback rods to the Hedgehog days. Gorgeous grips, right? So it's a new construction that they are doing. If you guys are familiar with the old ones, this one's gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be much more sensitive, much stronger. It has a new style of carbon tip that is much stronger. It can, it can really take a lot of abuse. Just beautiful, beautiful rods. So if you missed out and you want to scoop one up, there's only a handful of each one, but while supplies last, those are available again from Mega Bass. All right, Jeff, you stay pretty up to speed on JDM Tackle, things that happen over in Japan. We try to bring as much of that as we can over here to the US. One of the things that is super popular in Japan are things called lucky bags or lucky boxes, right? You're familiar with this. Mm -hmm. So each year at the new year, tackle stores will go around and they will sometimes team up with brands. Sometimes they will just make their own lucky box of stuff, right? It could be $100, could be $300, could be $500. And you don't really know what you're getting. You're just seeing how lucky you can be. And hopefully you're really lucky and you start the new year, right? This year we teamed up with Hide Up and we have created some JDM Hide Up Lucky boxes okay now these are going to be in different amounts okay so we have a $200 box $300 box $500 box so on and so forth and they are going to be an assortment this is a $200 box just to give you an idea there are some swim baits in here there's an assortment of soft plastics in here it's basically a, a $200 box of soft baits from high up $300 box would be the same as we get to the higher value boxes they are going to have even more Plus, we're gonna include some hard baits into the mix as well, some of their crank baits. Now, why am I talking about this, mm. right? These baits aren't even available for purchase right now, 
okay? We're working on a program with them, but we wanted to do this as a special little promo. Now, how do you get the box? You can buy the box. So a $500 box can have $500 worth of tackle on it. Or we are going to, while supplies last, we are gonna take different products each week and we are gonna actually give these away, okay? To celebrate 2023, okay? So we're gonna start right here. We are gonna start with our friends at St. Croix. So I'm gonna run through this very quickly, okay? St. Croix Trout Rods, okay? They retail for, let me put this one down. St. Croix Trout Rods. You guys are trout guys looking for a trout rod. They retail for like 120 to 140. If you purchase a St. Croix Trout Rod, we're going to gift you a $200 Lucky Box for free. So spend 120 bucks, 130 bucks, you get the rod and a $200 box of stuff for free, okay? Let's keep going. Victory rods, great $199 made in the USA. That's not a victory rod. Victory rods, a great $199 made in the USA rod. We're also gonna do the same on Legend Glass, great crankbait rods, great chatterbait rods. These are 199 bucks to 249. Purchase one of these, we're gonna do a $300 Lucky Box for free to you, okay? And they're gonna add in cart. So you'll see when you add this to cart, it's gonna automatically gift you the free box of stuff. So spend 200 bucks, get a $200 rod plus a $300 box of tackle for free. If you guys wanna do a Legend Elite or a Legend X that are around $400, we're gonna give you a $500 Lucky Box for free. And if you wanna really ball out and jump into Legend Extreme, these are gonna run you 650-ish, right? Somewhere in there, casting or spinning. We're gonna do a $750 box for free, okay? So this is a crazy deal. You're actually getting more in free tackle than you're spending, plus you're getting the rod that you actually bought. Crazy deal, this is gonna be this week only. Next week, if there's any supply left of Lucky Boxes, we'll roll it to another product. But if you have been on the fence about getting a St. Croix rod, or maybe you're just looking for an unbelievable sale deal, this is a chance to get them while supplies last. That is going on now. All right, guys, that is a wrap for today. Good episode, Jeff. Cheers, you still there? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm I'm buying a bunch of St. Croix rods right now. Smart, you're gonna have so much free tackle, it's just gonna fill up your whole boat. You're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> yeah, at that point. My friends, thank you so much for your support and your time, and thank you for giving us time every Sunday morning. We really appreciate it. If you guys have questions on anything that we covered, Drop it down below. I will get answers to you. Jeff will leave links to the products if you guys would like to check any of them out. So enjoy your Sunday, my friends. Have a nice cold Orion. Give your family a hug. Catch some big fish. We will see you next week. Cheers. See you, Jeff.